Yo, what is good, guys? Welcome to NPL week one. Well, day one now, I suppose. Because we have to play a certain amount of matches within three weeks. So this is match one. We're playing the Baltimore Brave Birds. I'll put the link in the description. Um, as you can see, I've brought a team of Porygon 2, Makalola, Mimikyu, Conkelda, Vikavolt and Mega Camera. Um, I won't do any team builders for this, I'll just put paste of the teams in the description. Um, so, he brought a team of his Mega Hound Doom, his Nine Tails, his Empoleon, his Clefable, his Golduck, and his Zygarde. So, already I know that this is a Sun team. Um, I'm really hoping that he leads off Empoleon going into this. Um, so I decide to lead Vikavolt, so let's go into it and see what happens. I'm not quite sure where it starts because I know that my opponent's there. So yeah, it goes in there. So he did lead Empoleon, which is good for me. So I debate here with I know that he's gonna switch into the Zygarde. But I I go for Volt Switch for the safe play in case he does decide to stay in stealth block because it seemed like yeah it's the safest play so there's no reason not to. Um, so yeah, even if the Zygarde did come in, it would have been fine. Um, just quickly, I apologise that this is post commentary. I was recording this late at night, so. I couldn't be too loud. But yeah, so he switched into his Zygarde. Um, so at this point, I did a quick count and Bug Buzz does about. It was either 40% or 60%, so it was. And he couldn't do anything to me that could significantly hurt me. So I just stay in and Bug Buzz to get damage off. So I think. He only did about, if he fails an arrow, he only did about 30%. So I just bug buds. Um, so he goes into his nine tails. The bug buzz does a decent chunk to it. So, now, for this battle, I'm Oka Berry, and that halves the damage of fire-type moves, for those that don't know. Um, so, he would only be doing about 50% to me, so I decide to stay in and Volt Switch for the extra damage. And then I can keep Vika Volt and sack it later if I need to. Um... I mean, so yeah, and then I think my plan was I Volt Switch and I go into Porygon 2 because that way I can set up my Trick Room and then I can start dealing big damage. So yeah. Using my team, I've come to notice that it's very trick room reliant. Um, got many, many slow mines. Um, for example, this entire team is slow. Which reminds me, um, I have Mimikyu on the layout, but I actually brought Bronze on by accident because I made two teams for this battle. And I picked the wrong one when we started, and I didn't notice until right at the end. Almost. So I go into Bronze on here, he goes for the knockoff, does nothing to me. I lose my leftovers, which isn't great. I can just go for the Earthquake here, because he should probably switches into Gold Duck, I imagine. 
was an earthquake we've just taken out. Um, we could go into Fable, but that wouldn't make sense. And Zygarde's another option. But um, he actually stays in to take the earthquake. Skull to me. Um, yeah, Earthquake didn't do as much as I thought it would. I think I went for a defensive Bronzong rather than an offensive Bronzong. That might be why. Uh, you'll see the spreads when I post them later. So, but he's not going to do any damage to me while the sun's up. But the Skull Burn would definitely put me at a disadvantage with Bronzong. I can't remember exactly what I do here. I have a switch or I stayed in the fake again, I think. Sorry for the long pauses as well. It's hard because I'm doing post commentary on an actual retail so you don't have the full process, it's sort of like a quick overview. So there will be long pauses. So I switch into Conkelder, get the Flame Orb, so the Guts boost kicks in. Um, I think I go for Ice Punch here. And then I get damage off on the Clefable, which it switches into. I believe it switches into Clefable. Which is perfect. Because Although it reveals Ice Punch, I do not reveal that I'm carrying Poison Jab. So I can use that later on. But then I believe... Mm, I don't know. I'll speak more when it comes to the next turn. Mm. So he goes into his table and takes an Ice Punch. Does a good chunk. Now I think here, I do go for my poison jab and he switches into Empoleon I was oh no I switch out into Bronzong he protects and fails um, I trick room to get trick room back up so yeah I brought two mons with trick room goes into his eye guard. I believe he takes me out with a thousand arrows and I just earthquake to get the damage off. Yeah. I think I do about 20% to him. Or do I go for the Gyro Ball? Oh, I went for the Gyro Ball, does about 40%, it's nice. Yeah, and then he takes me out with a thousand arrows. I'm free to come into Conkelder. And then I just... I click Poison Jab, I think. Yeah, because I predicted the Fable to come again as his answer. And then I think, hmm, I believe this is where he switches into his Empoleon, predicting me to predict him to go into the Fable. So yeah, this game is full of predictions. It was prediction heavy, and I think I made really good predictions through it, and these predictions are what gave me the win. But yeah, honestly, without Trick Room, I would have lost so quickly, I think. Uh, 
Um, another thing while we're waiting, if you guys have spreads you want me to try out, or if you have any suggestions for what I can do for the future, please let me know. And so yeah, going back to the game, he brings out his Empoleon here, and I... I poison jab because I predict him to switch straight back out into Clefable because he would predict me to drain punch. I think that's how it went. Yeah. And then I just knock it out nice and quickly. And then I think he brings the nine tails in. To get the sun back up. I was just not quite out. Yeah, he gets his gun up and then he just sacks it off. And I get all my health back, more or less. This is where his handling comes in. Now, I know that Muck Punch kills it. So I should just go for the muck punch, but I think I actually switch out into the muck. The reason's unbeknown to me. I think it's because I thought that the muck punch wouldn't kill him. And I needed Kinkelda to take care of the Zyga. So yeah. And then I think here I go into camera up because he can't do enough damage to him to make much of a difference. Um no mm. going back to what I said earlier um, I forgot what I was going to say. It'll come back to me, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, I go into camera up here. And I can't remember what move I click. I think I just went for Earth Power because it was a safe play. And he switches into his gold up take the damage because it would only do about 30% to build up. Mm. Oh here's a good question. Do you guys want questions of the day? That could be a fun little thing I could add onto a layout somewhere. Like maybe in the top corner. So yeah let me know if you want that. That can be today's question of the day. So yeah, I think I do something really stupid and leave camera up him for some odd reason. And it just gets me killed by the skull. I think I go for a... Oh no, I do switch. Take the skull with Vikervolt. Vikervolt lives. And then I just go for a nice vault. I should do. Yeah, so he goes into a Zygarde. High Volt switch. He's immune. And then I think I bug buzz and he extreme speeds. Oh no, just 1000 hours. No, no. Oh yeah, because I sort of had to sack off the Viper Volt to bring in Porygon. So that I can set up the room really again. Um, he puts in a sub, which is kind of annoying, so I have to trick room. 
and then I have to ice beam to break the sub because I can't leave him in there with a the sub. So he's stalling, trying to stall out my trick room, I think. But he doesn't do a lot of damage to me. In what I remember. Yeah, I need about 30 percent. So now I can just ice beam again. I've got no reason not to. The worst case scenario goes into Empoleon. I don't lose anything from that. Because I'm still getting off damage. Sorry guys, chilling. Now, fun fact with this team, most of the ones on this team I've never used before. So, I'm really glad to be using this team, it's proven so, such a good team so far, especially the duck. The duck's underrated. So here I can just go for my drain pump. Drone Punch is going to do massive damage to anything. And I think this is the point in the battle when um, this is the point in which no, I think it might be the next turn, but yeah, so for those of you that don't know, Baltimore Brave Birds is Chew Cast's thing, and it was either this turn or the next turn that Chew Cast just said to me in the chat, and it was like, I wasn't pleased to see that he just threw away hope like that because he still had a chance I'm sure but yeah he just said to me GG and then GG it was and then yeah so I just sweep his entire team with Conkelda here Um, so, I'll, you'll see me sweep him, and so now I can just go over some things. So, we've started good, our first win, first match, first win, that's really good, puts us at great position. Um, the, I'm hoping that like future commentary will be live. Because obviously it's annoying doing it like this. There's awkward pauses and things like that. Um, I'm trying to learn how to use layouts, as you can probably see. Tell me if it looks nice. Spent three hours doing this, putting it all together. Um, what else? So yeah, I've said about questions of the day. Let me know about that. Let me know what you guys think of the season and also give me your suggestions what sets we can use what things we can do in the future I know that with one match I've got the Mimic Cube planned Z Splash so that should be fun um, also if any of you want to do any content with me message me um, because obviously it's good for me and it's good for you. Um, also, fan discord, if people want that, cause then we can talk, interact, organise things, team build together, do it all a lot easier rather than YouTube commenting. So, if fan discord something you're interested in, let me know again. Um, You've probably seen my upload schedule. 
I'm looking forward to trying to do that. Although it is very hard with exams and things like that. But yeah, MPL videos will take priority over everything. So yeah, three and zero and with one and zero in the tryouts. I'll just pause that there. And um, yeah, so this is a great start for us. Um, I'm so happy that I got into tryouts and I can't wait for the rest of the season. Thanks, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.